Common Sense Radio. Good morning, you bunch of drunks. Good morning, this morning. You gotta love Rand Paul. Jimmy Hoff, the Gateway Pundit, has it all out there at gatewaypundit.com. At Gateway Pundit. Because, first of all, you have to understand that there's a there are a lot of pansies up there in Washington, D.C. Dick Durbin is like probably the number one pansy who will go and tattletale to the media because there's some word that apparently is offensive, even though, obviously, uh, but President Trump is denying even using it. But it doesn't matter. Dick Durbin and the Democrats who don't want a deal to begin with would try to pick out anything just to torpedo the thing, and, and Durbin is a, is a great example of that, even thinking chain migration is a racist term. I mean, the, the idea that Illinois can elect a diaper-wearing little boy like Dick Durbin is beyond me. But Lindsey Graham isn't far behind on on the matter. Jimmy Hoff, the Gateway Pundit, it was Lindsey Graham who now is uh, apparently uh, fluttering his eyelashes over the comments made by President Trump, correct? Right, right. And uh, Rand Paul called him out. Good for Rand. Yeah, uh, Rand Paul's kind of like, don't start uh, polishing your buckled shoes just yet, Senator Graham. I'll tell you, there are two different standards here. In 2013, Lindsey Graham said the exact same thing the president did, but he used the word hellhole. That we can't have everybody coming from every hellhole on the planet to here. And now everybody thinks Lindsey Graham's a great statesman because he's put out this thing about American ideals and stuff, which was a good statement, but he said almost the identical thing to the president in 2013. I mean, so, you know, who are these yeah. people kidding? Right. What a joke, huh? <laughs> yeah, Mr. I mean, uh, it, the, the more you think about it, and I spoke to people this weekend, they're like, you know, the more I thought about it, I think Trump was right. And these are independent voters, you know? So it's, it's amazing that uh, Trump brought up a point that a lot of people are wondering. Why do we bring people in who, uh, you know, offer nothing to society, and a lot of them take benefits from society? Yeah. We also saw, by the way, the uh, Hawaiian governor... Uh, David Ides, in the wake of the little uh, nuke scare, cut number five here is the Hawaiian governor saying. Uh, we are working to evaluate everything in the sequence of today's activities uh, to make sure that we are prepared and the procedures are changed so that a single person will not be able to make an error that triggers uh, another false alarm. Yeah. You think that's a good idea? Uh, I think it is. <laughs> and meanwhile, yeah, it's something else. But you point out at the Gateway Pundit that uh, none of the, the the facts stopped Jamie Lee Curtis and Jim Carrey from somehow blaming all this on President Trump. Right, the America haters uh, went out and uh, slammed Trump after this all happened as if it was his fault. So. Pretty crazy, but 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 and but how do they how do they come to that conclusion? Because the fact of the matter is, first of all, President Trump can't even start a nuclear war on his own. I mean, he there's there's no way he the guy who ever uh, released that scare has more power than the president does to influence ballistic missiles and 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 warnings and things like that. Right, but it doesn't stop Hollywood from. Uh you know, having an excuse to trash Trump and, uh, you know, be appalled for a day about President Trump, even though North Korea has been on this path for, what, 20, 30, 40 years? Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter. The facts don't matter. Boy, I'd say that is crazy. Well, it's all up there in black and white, including John Lewis saying uh, he wants to deal with DACA and won't, uh, and won't uh, support government funding. Uh, and, and that's fine, because the bottom line is President Trump is like, go ahead. Defund the stop funding the government. We'll see how this all works out. Because believe me, uh, this time around, it's not going to be Republicans who are to blame. The media will try it, but Americans know better. So it's all up there on Jimmy Hoff's website, the Gateway Pundit, thegatewaypundit.com, at Gateway Pundit. And Jimmy, I hope to see you in Jefferson City on Saturday because we've got a big event I'm about to announce at 7 o'clock. So stay tuned, buddy. Great. Thanks, all right, Jimmy. man. See you.
Hi, Sean.